welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022 here in Bucharest, Romania, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Councillor Cooper W. Krua, Senior, who is the Minister of Post and Telecommunications for the Republic of Liberia. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, the progress. What, what is the progress that your government has made in the area of ICTs over the past few years since we last met? Well, thank you very much. In terms of progress, uh, I remember the, um, when our current administration took over, the president was very concerned about our development in RTC. And so one of the things we had to look at was to review our legal framework. So we're able to develop a new ICT policy that was very inclusive. And, and that ICT policy has been working very fine. And then it helped us to move further you know, with our ICT programs. And, and we're able to, by that, we're able to develop a legal framework for our cyber crime prevention. So we drafted a new cyber crime act for Liberia. In fact, that will be the first act of uh, ICT, uh, uh, cyber crime act for Liberia. And that act is presently uh, before the uh, legislature, the Senate for passage into law. And, and, and then as we speak, we have now completed the draft of our, of our Personal Data Protection Act, all geared toward improving our ICT programs in the country. And so we are following the first step of those who are ahead of us, and, but we want to make sure that we do it right there because we want to make sure the legal frameworks are all in place and so that at the end of the day, we are be able to protect our cyberspace. And what have been the main challenges in the uh, uh, development of your IT or ICT program? Well, you know, Liberia is, is a developing country. So our challenges are not very different from other developing countries. But, but to specifically address some of them would be like um, a manpower development has been a serious challenge for us. And, and, and we, think, we think it's important, capacity building. When we started our program, we needed training in the area of ICT, training in the area of cyber security. And as we speak, we've done a number of training, not only within the sector where ahead, but we've been able to extend our training to judges. We've been able to extend our training to security police. And, 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 and uh, now that we have read it, I think we're ready for implementation to the, to the extent that we, uh, we have had uh, a number of discussions, so a series of discussions with ECOWAS. They've volunteered to help us set up our forensic cybercrime lab for Liberia. And so, again, you can't train people if they don't have the equipment to work with. So we are looking forward to setting up a forensic lab, uh, a cybercrime forensic lab for Liberia. And, and, and to continue on the training aspect of it because you'll be more efficient and proficient with better training, better development in, a, in the man, in manpower in the country. And you've got to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to cybersecurity, don't you? Oh, yeah, we, we definitely want to be. You, because, you know, this, this is, a cybercrime is, is a global concern right now. And, and every nation ought to take some step to make sure that uh, you address, you prevent it. You don't wait until it happens before you, you move far away. So we're trying to, to be proactive with our programs. Finally, are there any final words that, uh, or message that you would wish to uh, uh, convey to our ITU leadership currently and, of course, the newly elected ones too? Well, I tell you, thank you very much for that question because it's important. You know, as a developing country, uh, a nation, we think that... Um, ICT program or the leadership ought to now begin to take a poster that will make them to look beyond Geneva. You have to be able to, to get people out there to visit your member countries, see what their problems are, see if you can make, take some decision to be able to address the problem. Because if you wait for everybody to come to you before you address their problem, it might be late. It might be late. So we look forward to the new leadership. We see new faces. We are encouraged by the results of the election, but we like to look at the practical aspect of it in terms of what they do for our, our member state and what they do for Liberia. We're very concerned about that. Well, Councillor Cooper, W. Crew, Senior, thank you so much for joining us in the studio, and we very much look forward to catching up with you and hopefully come and see exactly what's going on in Liberia in the, in the coming months or years. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.